Hey guys, uh, just a quick video. I will have um, FNAF rolled up for you today because that's going to lead up into the new game. But um, just a quick vid to let you know what I'm doing today when you're not seeing me. Uh, I'm going to be using my wood burning tool to start the first step on the new project. Uh, I'm going to be trying to do Puppet. Um, the problem is he's going to be a complete from um, a scratch build, so he's going to look probably a bit strange because he's going to be kind of flat faced or something. But first, I got to cut him out of here, and this is like two inch styrofoam, so I'm going to be using my pyrography tool. I'm going to be doing this out in the garage so I don't start seeing Puppet. I don't even know if I should be using pyrography tool on styrofoam. Probably not, but um, that's probably what's going to do the job the best. So I will see you guys later. Just letting you know that I'm starting the first part of the work here. And he's not the best looking puppet in the world, but everyone knows I can't even draw a stick figure, so he is what he is. So I'll see you guys soon. guys, welcome back. Um, for those of you that like to follow the builds, um, Puppet's coming along. I did say he's going to have a flat face, and he probably is. The thing is, with the burn tool, uh, with the tremors, I can't get a real smooth burn like some people do, so uh, he would have a real choppy face. I'd rather him have a flat face than to have, like, real choppy contours. So, he has a, and these two long tubes are going to be extended legs. I'm going to build into a real short body. Uh, real short, you know, bottom, and then the elongated body, and then do two long limbs for the top. That's all going to get covered, probably, and then he might get hit with black spray paint, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, we're going to see how he comes out. I'm trying to make him as lightweight as possible. Uh, that is just glued in there. That's just a little piece of bamboo painted black glued in there. I'm going to build that up so it looks like his neck, so uh, we're going to see how this works out. And I'm doing the builds now because I have the best light, but I am going to get the game on for you. But um, I'm doing the builds real quick right now. He's not going to take as long. This is just uh, building out four limbs and a tiny body, so he shouldn't take nearly as long. So I will be back with you guys soon, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. I know no one really wants to see him, but... um. Final look at Puppet. I just need to spray paint the silver parts. But I done goofed on his height unless he's about seven and a half feet tall in the game. But um he's pretty much finished. Uh this was all day work. All I did was go out for parts I needed and work. He is um newspaper covered with uh duct tape that I'm gonna spray paint. And then um He's stuffed inside with newspaper, uh, duct tape, uh, midsection. Um, the head you saw, the head's taped to a hanger along with, like, a, uh, plush, not plush, but more of that, uh, exercise mat for a neck. And that's all duct taped up, and that's going to get spray painted, too. That's going to take me five, ten minutes at most. And, um... Then it's going to be games all day because he will be spray painted and tomorrow he will get his black at it. But he's about, I'm not kidding, he's about seven feet tall. When I hang him on my porch, he's actually going to have to hang it in the highest corner. He's just going to have to stay there because there's no way he's coming up and down every night. But yeah, I really done goofed on his height. But I like his hands. Look at those hands. Eh. Okay, I will see you guys later. Welcome back to CSI FNAF. <laughs> Looks like a crime scene. <laughs> oh dear lord, he's over seven feet tall, he's got a bag on his head, and now he's covered in black paint. Oh good lord. But there he is. He's got the black paint on, then i just got to add the white details. And then he's pretty much done. I'm going to have to put a hanger on the back of his head. And, um... See how I'm going to hang him, but he is so tall, he's literally going to have to go in the one corner of the porch if he can stand there. He might be too tall to stand there. I done goop. I knew he was tall in the game. I figured he had to be like six foot, like six foot five, six foot six. So, well, seven feet ain't too tall. Um, 
I didn't make the tape go the whole way up, even though that might have been a little more in-game authentic. I wanted him to still look a little scarecrowish, so he's gonna look spookity. He is. He's gonna look. Oof. I could even just leave him black and he look like Nightmare on, I guess. So we'll see. Um, but I will catch up with you guys later. Bye bye. Okay, guys, he's not done yet. I just wanted to hang him in place to see how he looks so far. Uh, he is over seven and a half feet tall. I done goof. Uh, I don't know if I should make him spidery thin on the upper part of the legs as well, or what I should do. Uh, you can leave feedback below. He's gonna need his... Yeah, I think Chica's looking at me like, Oh my god, what is that? Um... That's Puppet Chica. That's a really tall version of Puppet. <laughs> and I like how his hands came out. He's gonna need a little more paint. He's gonna need the buttons drawn in, but isn't he... Doesn't he just say, come here and get some candy? I, I'm friendly. I, uh, you, you should hug me. Oh my god. What did I do? And he's gonna stay in place until Halloween's over. Uh, there's no way he's coming down. He was a job and a half to get up there. So, um, but yeah, that's the puppet build. I probably should paint the face in a little more white, but I think he came out pretty decently. God, is he scary. And he needs the white details in that painted in, but he needs more black paint. I just wanted to hang him up at this point, see if he would hang, and if he would fit. Oh, good lord. Okay, I will see you guys later.